can be getting all up close and personal and have dry cuticles. Ew, who does that? Anyway, no judgment zone. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you are new here, thank you for tuning in. And whether it was the title you have seen or the thumbnail of this video, I'm hoping either way that you enjoy the content today. And those of you coming back, hi guys. I hope you are well. Thank you for tuning in as always. And I hope you enjoy the content too. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna try and keep the intro short and sweet because you know what it is. I'm doing an updated jewelry collection and I'm so excited because jewelry is low key a passion of mine. Like I love jewelry. You guys probably know and see. I love jewelry. I love accessorizing. I just, I love it all. I absolutely love it all. And I've been so blessed and so grateful. Last year blew my mind to have like collaborated and worked with some amazing brands that I shop at anyway um and have them basically like gift me with pieces and you guys know the drill but yeah just really really happy to have added to my collection as well so I want to show you guys some of like my staple pieces bits that I've added recently and um yeah pretty much let's get into it now, what I will say straight away guys everything will be in the description box below but you do know some of the links will be commissionable links but alongside that I will be having discount codes for you guys as well this is not an ad, this video is not sponsored. I have been gifted with some pieces, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but honestly, yeah, these are bits that I have on me and I wear a day to day or for special occasions. I'm gonna start from my head <laughs> and my piercings and jewelry here, then my neck, then my rings and then my wrists. Technically it should be the other way, right? If I'm going wrists and rings, but anyway. So to get into it, first things first, um, I have a ridiculous amount of piercings, but you can never have too many. And um, my piercings for the most part stay in my ears. I think I've said that to you guys before. Do you know what? Let me come closer. I'm gonna come closer. Ooh, now I'm all up in your grill. Okay. So um, I said to you guys before that I keep my piercings in because it's just a lot easier. And for the most part, I've got really good quality piercings in my ears and jewelry in my ears. So whether it's fresh piercings or just piercings in general, I can get away with doing that. What I will say as a disclaimer to that point is speak to your jeweler, speak to someone in a piercing shop if you have access to one. If you wanna know a bit more about how to like have a look after your piercings or what is best to put in them. But fingers crossed, touch wood, I've had great experiences so far. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So. Ears wise, uh, let's start with my right side. As you guys know, not too long ago, um, I had two new piercings, one on this side, one on that side. To save myself the stress and the embarrassment, what I'm gonna do is actually put the information on the screen. So if you wanna know which piercing I'm talking about or what like jewelry or location of my ear I'm talking about, it will be on the screen. Equally, hopefully that should be helpful if maybe you want to get a new piercing and you basically want to let them know what area of your ear it should be. So we'll start with piercing number one, which is in this top corner here. This gorgeous piece I'm such a fan of because as you can see, it curves to like the contours of my ear. This is a jewelry piece that was actually gifted um, from Ufa Body Jewelry. I've done a video with them before, so you may have heard their name on my channel already. Um, I'm really impressed with their jewelry. I actually apologize to you guys because I was supposed to update you to let you know how I got on. Really, really impressed with their jewelry um, quality. Um, so yeah, that is worth mentioning. I do actually have a discount code for you guys actually. So that will be in the description box below. But I love the range of jewelry they have. And every time they send me pieces, they get it so right. Like I'm so impressed. The first time they sent me a, a batch of jewelry, I was like, okay, this is cute. This second time, I was like, oh, you know me, know me. I love that. So, um, first one here, so, so lovely. As you can see, I do wear a lot of gold up and down, um, but on my ears is probably the one place where I do mix and match. I do not mind mixing and matching metals. I know some people think it's so taboo, but I don't mind. This first one goes to the contour of my ears. You can see like the diamante details, really, really nice. I had one in there previously that curved a bit more. So it is up to your preference, which one you want to use. 
but that is as i mentioned from ufa body jewelry gorgeous piece um and that just stays in my top one there and it kind of tucks in because my ears curve round the next one to mention this one here um i can't actually link for you but you can definitely check uh ufa body jewelry for more because they have like different jewelry for different piercings this i actually got from a, a, a jewelry shop or a piercing shop should i say um and so that is kind of not a new one it has been in there from before that would have been in my previous video as well i'm pretty sure and that is the same for my tragus too this i don't think i've ever changed that guys i don't even know if i can take that piercing out anymore like i literally no joke think i would have to get it surgically removed we move now this one this was a uh new piercing or it is a new piercing that i got last year's summer courtesy of majuri again so grateful um i mentioned that i wanted to get some piercings so they very very kindly offered for me to come in and get the piercing there this is such a stunning piece and this kind of actually if i'm honest this is actually what kind of started this whole thing of me having like curved jewelry in my ears i just really like how it kind of again curves to the contour of my ear now this is a conch piercing but mine is a bit further out so a little bit different to your normal one um, but it is a conch piercing it is healing relatively well as well i did go and get a longer bar because i have thick ears <laughs> is that even a thing i have thick ears i did go and get a longer bar so it can just give my ear a bit more room to heal um around the piercing and so yeah gorgeous piece because it has the three diamonds there and it is gold um you cannot go wrong with their jewelry honestly you cannot go wrong they have such a good selection in their piercing shop in Marlborn in london so go and check them out if i've got the clips still I'll, I'll throw the clip clips in as i'm talking really lovely place um damien my absolute darling is the one that did both my piercings anytime i've wanted to go speak to them which is something to mention i've gone back for like checkups um there was a point in time where i didn't think it was healing it's all part of the service they will check it out for you change it if you need to it's just really really lovely service and we had such a great chat as well so this one is from a jury um i think i have like the box from one of the rings i bought as well you probably recognize the brand next piercing so would i really be me if i didn't have something from zara on me these are sterling silver studs from zara so they're a little bit pricier to the normal jewelry pieces that they do but they um, don't tarnish and they're absolutely fine in my ears my third low piercing so this top one is actually my most sensitive piercing i don't know why but i cannot put fake jewelry in there and i really need to be careful about the materials and the metals that i put in there as well so this has not reacted um and so i just keep those in there and then the next two down which i've got on both sides so the left and right are from my mum so i actually bought these back home um these gold jewelry pieces i absolutely adore i'm gonna see if we can get closer like even closer i'll try and find a way to do like um clips for you guys to see the pieces a bit better i love these pieces because this one especially is so reminiscent of a pair of gold hoop earrings that my mom gave me when i was so young and obviously i lost one of them i was a baby i'm just a baby but yeah so i keep those two in i do not take them out i know they're hoops but my boyfriend's always like do you sleep comfortably like are you okay and i'm like i'm fine they're cool i'm used to it so those are where those are from switching over to the left hand side then i have the exact same setup on my low piercing so the first two are from my mom and then the sterling silver studs from zara as well now if i tilt my head a bit more this little stud on the inside i love now my previous video you probably remember i had like um a hoop in my conch piercing but i thought you know what let's be a bit different i'm gonna put a stud in there or i say a stud something smaller um in there and again this is from ufa body jewelry so i know i've said already from this side they have just a range of different jewelry pieces you can get um and not to say that the other places don't but i feel like they are more similar to what you'd expect to see in like a jewelry shop like a piercing shop where you go in there and it's like literally jewelry for every single piercing you can think of so they're really really good in that sense this i absolutely adore it's just like a single stud um diamante sort of flat back piercing i definitely prefer flat back piercings or like thread piercings easier to maintain and i think they're less intrusive for someone like me who sleeps in with my jewelry um last but not least on my ears um this is also a new piercing this is the other one that i got in majuri but i've switched up the jewelry so this is again from ufa same sort of 
vibe as like the curved jewelry. I love this one because it's a bit more, you know, bling bling, shine shine all up in your face. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore that one there as well. So that's what my ears are looking like so far. My nose, I didn't actually realize how much jewelry from Ufa I've got in here. Liu, I'm a combination of Ufa body jewelry, Majuri, Monica Vinodar, and Zara, technically, so yeah. Um, my nose is from Ufa as well. Uh, they have a range of different tones. I actually prefer silver on my face. Shock horror. I love gold everywhere else, but I feel like on my nose, silver just seems to be the vibe for me. So I left that in. My tongue piercing, can you see? My tongue piercing, I've had this same jewelry for, I don't know. I switched out, I think like two years ago. I think it was from Claire's Accessories actually. Um, so I've just had that in. So yeah, that's really basic. Tilting you guys down ever so slightly. These first two pieces are um, pieces that I do not take off. So they stay on me permanently. And um, the first one is a gorgeous, dainty necklace like i absolutely adore this piece and it has like a green gemstone as well all the details will be on screen and below um so this isn't new this one is from majuri love 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 how dainty it is because again because i don't take the jewelry off it just makes it a lot easier um to have something really dainty that i can layer with that goes for the same which is the second piece from monica vinida again thank you to them for gifting me that way back when um this, I think I've spoken to you guys before because it has my Bible scripture, Psalm 91 on it. You can engrave their pieces, which I think is always a really, really nice touch, whether you're gifting something or if you just want it to have more like sentimental value for yourself. Um, but the one I want to talk about is this piece. Now, to me, this is quite a bold necklace and I typically don't wear jewelry that's that bold but I really love this one. So this is the Ulta necklace from uh, Monica Vinida. And I love it because it has like a texture to it. So you probably can't see it very, very well here now, but it's kind of like, um, it's kind of got like a crinkle in the, in the metal. And then I added this right here, this accent sort of pearl pendant. Um, because I wanted something different and I thought it was really, really nice. I love pearl, but I don't think I would go for like a pearl necklace, but I thought this was a really nice way just to bring a bit of depth and dimension to my stack essentially. So the pendant um, is separate to the necklace, but they do have so many ways that you can kind of like mix and match pendants and things like that. So I picked that up as well. And I adore this piece, really, really love it. I think it's so nice. I think it complements a lot of like V necklines that I wear. Um, so yeah, that was my latest edition from Monica Vinodar. Let's talk about the wrist. I'm gonna skip over pretty much the majority of these pieces because I've spoken about them before. This bracelet here, if I come a bit closer. This bracelet here is from Ana Luisa. Love it. I love the tone of it. I love the shape, the detail, the fact that it looks like a watch strap, but it is not. Really, really lovely. And then I've got my watch from Joisa as well. Gorgeous. I cannot express how much I love the watch face. The fact that it's like square, but it's got like this bevel to it as well, like this crystal sort of bevel, all gold, really, really beautiful. Um, and again, I think it just sits well on my wrist with the rest of like the accessories that I go for and kind of stack it with. The recent addition, um, which I think I've spoken to you guys very briefly about, is this bracelet from Monica Vinida. I adore it so if you couldn't tell it is the matching um sort of like metal material as my necklace i have this beautiful wisdom star pendant right there and then on the other side it's engraved with the letter s which is the initial of my boyfriend so you know just cute and sentimental um but obviously you could put any initial any emoji any symbol and I just love the way that hangs sort of like with the rest of the stack as well. As I mentioned, I'm just gonna fly through this one. These two are from Nevea Jewelry. Actually, I don't actually think that's how you pronounce it to be fair, but it's like heaven spelled backwards. So I do not take these off guys. Um, this is obviously a Cartier dupe. I think this is a dupe for something as well, but I'm not 100% sure, but that first one definitely is. They do not tarnish. You can polish them obviously wash them, I shower with these, I do absolutely everything with them and they are still perfect and in good condition. But I just love, again, how it complements my other wrist. 
Okay, last but not least, we're gonna get into the rings. So, um, this one you've seen already. This is from Monica Vinader. This is my birthstone. Um, so aqua, aqua marine. <laughs> that is my birthstone. Um, and I absolutely adore that piece. It is. Oh, don't focus on my face. Focus on the hand. It is really, really lovely. It's nice as someone like me who wears a lot of neutral pieces and just neutral jewelry and gold jewelry. It is nice to introduce a bit of color into it. Same with the necklace or my um, my smallest dainty necklace that's kind of green. Um, right next to it is this piece I picked up from Majuri. So this is gold verme, um, single band, sort of like, I think it's a cigarette band, I think they call it. Love how simple it is, but I also love the thickness and how chunky it is. Um, and again, it sits on this finger really, really well. They do some really small sizes. So for someone like me who has quite skinny fingers, it is a really good place to get your rings because they can go down quite small. I think this is like a size five or something like that. Right next to it as well is another piece that I picked up from um, Majuri. And I don't know if you can see, but this actually matches the color quite nicely of my um, aqua marine one. I don't think this is aqua, aqua marine, but it is blue, as you can probably tell. And I just love how dainty that gemstone is. So really single, um, really skinny, sorry, band with the little gemstone. And I just thought that complemented this one really, really nicely. And then last but not least on this finger, I've got another ring that was gifted to me by my mom. Um, so no links for that one, sorry, but Majuri do a really, really similar one to this, like a really similar one. It's actually quite crazy when I saw it. Um, so you can definitely check that out if you're interested. And then speaking of Majuri, this one over here, I love the texture. It's like their croissant ring, um, really signature to the brand. And I just love the texture to it. Again, I think it's a great thickness. On the other side, it's quite skinny, but I love the thickness on the front. And again, on this hand, I only have these two because obviously I do keep my ring finger there. Um, and I don't typically wear thumb or pinky rings, but I actually do want to get a pinky ring because <laughs> why not? But um, yeah, so this is my most recent addition. So this one, this one, and this one from Majuri. Gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I couldn't help myself. I went in to go and see Damien to um, just check on my piercing. And then I went upstairs and I was like, yeah, we're going to get into it. So guys, those are all my recent jewelry pieces um, and my updates. So just to clarify, I've changed some of my ear piercings. So I've used uh, jewelry from Ufa Body Jewelry. I've got my new rings from Majuri and I've got my new necklace and my new bracelet from Monica Vinader. I stay building the collection, but I do just want to be super transparent. As I mentioned, some of these pieces were gifted. And speaking of gifting, I wanted to show you some other pieces that Uther Body um, Jewelry gave me. It's actually a shame that I don't have more piercings because your girl wants to put more in her ears and around, but here we are. I have mentioned them before. Um, one thing I really appreciate about them is their packaging. Now, something else that I didn't mention, but again, description uh, box below will have a lot of details. They do titanium jewelry, which is really good if you have any new piercings or kind of like newer piercings, but you want to change the jewelry in them. Because titanium is actually known to be um, like the least reactive you can put in your ears. So you've got some really gorgeous flat back style piercings here in silver. Um, I honestly took the longest time trying to decide which ones I was going to put in my ear. Also, this is quite similar to the other jewelry that I mentioned I had before. So I'll just take off the sleeve. It's really cute. You've got a sleeve and like this vacuum packed packaging. This is really, really similar to what was in my conch piercing. So over here where I mentioned I had a ring before that I've now got the stud. This is kind of like what was in there before. This is in gold. And as you can see, you've got like the diamante details there too. And then last but not least, some other pieces they sent me. This really cute one, I wanted to put up here. Then I was like, no, I want the curved one. Um, this can go in your conch piercings. Um, really, really good again. When it picks up on it, you'll see it's like a little hoop with the star gem as well. I'll show it this side. You can see the star gem as well. Really, really cute. They have such nice jewelry. And I think with them, like I said, this is not an ad, but with them, it's worth checking them out. Obviously you've got your discount anyway, that will be below and on the screen. 
but they have so many jewelry pieces for different piercings. So whether it's your tongue, whether it's your conch piercing, your nipple piercing, whatever it is, they, they've got a variation. So I'd say definitely check them out. Um, I've been pleased with them. They've been in my ears for, well, these ones are new, but the ones in there before were in there for a few months, actually. No reactions, nothing like that. Really, really good. So I'd say check them out too. Hopefully you have um, enjoyed this video, guys. My next update I need to do is my fragrance collection because your girl is looking good smelling good while well, trying to hopefully you enjoyed today's content and you enjoyed the video let me know if you've had any new piercings recently i want to get a tattoo i really want to get a new tattoo um i've been thinking about it for a while now so i think i'm gonna get a new one um but yeah if you're if you're set to get a tattoo or a new piercing let me know below um if you want any information about like how to look after it obviously speak to whoever did the piercing for you first but i'm more than happy to help where i can as well Thank you, as always, guys, for sticking with me, sitting with me, and enjoying the video, hopefully. I will hope to see you in my next video, Sunday, 7 p.m. Um, but till then, stay well, stay blessed, and good vibes only. Bye. Just to make mention, guys, I still have 20% off Monica Vinader, the whole site. Um, so if you do want to buy anything, the description code is always in the description box below. They have still gifted me with it and it's still available to you guys. So happy shopping. <laughs>